If there's one phone I can definitely recommend not to buy, the Galaxy A11 is definitely one of those phones. Being that it has a TFT or LCD display on it, especially around for $300 AUD, it is just simply a ripoff and a phone that shouldn't really exist. It may look slightly fancy with its triple cameras, it may look slightly fancy with the punch hole, but the amount of backlight bleed and just inadequate lighting on this phone is ridiculous. The processor in it at 1.8 gigahertz, it's using a low-end Snapdragon, but this model I've noticed in especially in my region has taken over from the Samsung A20 with a noticeable step backwards in overall quality. It's pretty disgusting. So looking on GSM Arena, having a look here, around about a year difference. So that's why the A20 is drying up and the A21 I believe is taken over from it. Here we go, where are we display? TFT versus AMOLED, 6.4 inch, 6.4 inch. Notice a slight notch versus a punch hole. Even looking at the design of it, the back cover is nearly the same, except they moved the flash and added an extra camera in its position. Scrolling down, we have an octa-core at 1.8, we have an octa-core at, well, at varying speed. But overall, I would prefer the A20. What else have we got here? RAM's the same, storage is the same, memory type is the same. And we've got the wide camera, ultra wide, both very comparable. And then we've got a depth sensor, front facing is identical. Battery is identical. I believe there is an Android 10 release available for the A20. But simply, if you can avoid it, don't get the A11. Not a good purchase at all, especially if the older A20, being one year older, available for less. Definitely give that A11 a skip. There's my phone. I'll catch you later. Bye.